welcome back to the channel with me, it's in the hall. Today we're going to take a look at uh, some videos that uh, me and DJ put together. Uh, mine consists of me uh, doing a little inspection to catch me on the uh, main line running. So if you like the channel, like what you see, subscribe Hello, to the channel. My name is DJ and welcome back to Yang... Oh, wait a minute. We're at my office. Welcome back to my office where every day is work. I hope everyone had a fantastic holiday season and are ready to celebrate a brand new year, 2022. I can't believe it. I'm still one of those guys that thinks the year 2000 was like a couple years ago. So I can't believe we're already at 2022. And what better way for us to bring in the brand new year than to show you 22 rail fan videos to usher in the air 2022. I've seen a lot of trains and I would like to showcase them for you, try something a little bit different, and without any further hesitation, we're gonna start going all the way back to the Strasburg Railroad in Lancaster, Pennsylvania to take a look at their three operating locomotives, Decapod number 90, Mastodon number 475, and a Mogul number 89. And you know what? I think I'm going to throw in that 611 engine in there too because we could call it a Strasburg engine, right? It's been there for a couple years now. So check these out and enjoy the start of our 22 videos to bring in 2022. Enjoy.
Those are some great looking engines there, and I know especially people in the steam uh, preservation community kind of look at Strasburg as like the epitome of steam railroading preservation. So good job to those folks out there, and if you haven't been, I highly suggest you go because it is definitely worth the trip. One of my favorite railroads that probably is no surprise to a lot of people that watch our show is the Reading and Northern. They do so many great things from steam excursions to diesel power trains, their typical fast freight, the Reading and Northern fast freight, which has been dubbed America's favorite train. If you don't believe me, look on Facebook and you can see a whole bunch of where is the NRFFs. And of course they have these brand new F units that we have showcased on our show a couple of times. So over the last couple of years I've taken a whole bunch of different videos of all these different excursions. We're going to take a look at the two steam engines. We're going to take a look at the 425, which I think is the loudest steam engine I've ever heard in my life. The 113, which is actually owned by a, a uh, non-profit organization called uh, Project 113. We're going to take a look at those F units, the number 270 and 275. And let's take a look at that Reading and Northern Fast Ray. And we're going to see it going through Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. So enjoy these videos from the Reading and Northern.
Does everybody know what time it is? That's right. It's Berkshire time. Or Berkshire time. Or Berkshire time. However you want to pronounce it, it's time for these bad boys. And I've been lucky enough to see two in action. The 765 and the Cuyahoga Valley. And the Piri Marquette 1225 going through Howe, Michigan. Enjoy these locomotives. You know, the consolidation is probably the most commonly found steam engine in preservation these days simply because they were freight engines and the freight engines tended to last a little bit longer than the uh, passenger engines. So therefore, when it came time to saving them, a lot more freight engines got saved than passenger. And the 280 is probably the most common one that you're going to find out there. There are actually two 280s that are found within the tri-state area where Yankee Dabbler is located. One is in the state of New Jersey that is that found at the Black River and Western Railroad number 60 and one is found in New Hope, Pennsylvania and that one is the number 40. So enjoy some consolidations going down the line.
Now it's time to take a look at some steam locomotives that are actually younger than me. That's right, we got some engines that have been built within the last 30 years. Two of them were found, uh, were built all the way overseas in China. We're talking about one that's found in New Jersey at Phillipsburg, the number 142, and one that's found at the Essex Railway in Connecticut, number 3025. We're also going to take a look at an American that is found in New Freedom, Pennsylvania. This is the York number 17. In my opinion, it's one of the most beautiful steam locomotives I've ever caught on film. But judge for yourself and see what you think. Well, I hope you enjoy our video so far, and we are on our way to get the 22 to bring in 2022. Woohoo! A lot of trains getting bought this year. <laughs> Anywho, it's not really fun to do this by myself, so I figured I'd bring in the accomplice to the uh, channel here, the man himself, Engineer Hall. He works for Norfolk Sun, and I'm sure he's seen a lot of cool stuff and has some neat videos. So, Engineer Hall, are you there? Take it away. Show us what you got. Wow, I hope you guys enjoy the 22 trains of 2022. Now, my participation in this video is that I've been uh, caught working right on the main line. So, uh, uh, member of my post 24.5, Doug, uh, caught me a couple of times on the main line. And I want to share that with you uh, today. But, you know, let's get back into the video and uh, please enjoy the uh, raw fan videos that we have for you guys. And... Let's keep looking forward to 2022.
Thanks, Engineer Hall, for sharing some of those engines. You definitely see some really cool things on the rails. Well, we're going to conclude our video of 22 engines, or I guess I should say 22 trains, because some of these trains have more than one engine. 22 trains to celebrate 2022 with going to a trip to the Horseshoe Curve. And as you can see, I'm actually wearing my Horseshoe Curve shirt to celebrate because I think it is one of the coolest places to go, especially if you're a rail enthusiast, whether you're going to the Horseshoe Curve, the Galitzin Tunnel, downtown Altoona, where there's a whole bunch of cool stuff, including the Altoona uh, Pennsylvania Railroad Museum. And if anyone's ever been there, you know that there's this really cool stuff down there. As a matter of fact, they're restoring K4 number 1361 back to operating condition. So a lot of cool stuff happening down in Altoona. Now we're going to show case three different places that you can see. The first one is we're going to go to the Horseshoe Curve to see a Norfolk Southern freight train going around the Horseshoe Curve. It's really long and really noisy. Then we're going to see an Amtrak train going to downtown Altoona to pick up passengers to go to Philadelphia. And finally, we are going to see another Amtrak train, the Heritage Unit, the 50th anniversary engine number 108, going through the Galenson Tunnel at nighttime. So we got some really cool shots. So without any further ado, all aboard.
I hope everyone enjoyed watching 22 trains to usher in the year 2022. I hope you had as much fun watching them as we did making them. Some really cool stuff out there, and I hope you enjoyed. We wanted to try something a little bit different. Don't worry, we're going to get back to product reviews to Yankee Dabbler. I mean, I guess if you really want to take a look at a product, here you go. This is a car I bought from the Napa Valley Wine Train when I went to go see it. It's an Athern. It's a nice car, but truthfully, I was hoping it would come with wine. It didn't. No, it's, not. it's a nice car, but you know, I kind of wanted the wine, you know. Well, I, anyway, as I said, we're going to get back to uh, taking a look at a whole bunch of products. As a matter of fact, we got a whole bunch of stuff that came into the store since the last time we made a video. Different sizes, different gauges. We got some steam, we got some diesel, we got some rolling stuff, we got some brand new items that are coming your way. And I know you're going to be excited to see some of the brand new items that we had at our shop. So you're probably thinking, well, how am I going to get notified when you come out with these videos? Well, you hit that subscribe button, you're going to get caught up in all the new things that we have coming out for this year. All the new product reviews, all the new uh, updates on Engineer Hall's layout. We might even do another one of those uh, layout spectaculars. I think I called it the spring layout something or other. I don't know. There's got to be so much stuff coming in 2022, and you're not going to want to miss a minute of it. So hit that subscribe button and get up to date on all the stuff that we do on this channel. As my mom says, it's just me talking for a whole bunch and looking at traits. What more could you want? Anywho, thank you very much again for staying, staying with us. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season. I hope you all have a fantastic new year. And if you excuse me, even though the car didn't come with some wine, that's where I'm heading. So take care, everyone. We'll see you again at Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. All aboard.